the planet on which we live is being polluted day by day. As the population of humans is increasing, we are destroying the nature for our household and polluting the atmosphere, causing global warming. Natural disasters like volcanic eruptions, tsunamis, sun flares and meteorite falls may lead in the massive destruction of the earth at any point of time. These wrecking conditions cause human extinction. Mother Earth has given us everything, but we have misused all her supplies. Keeping the misusage aside, we have bought threat to our life-supporting plants and animals. This leaves us with no other choice but to leave the planet. Wait, where do we live? What is the future of life? The answer is space colonization. Space is not new to us. We have known it from the beginning. But the more we know about it, more mysterious it becomes. So, isn't it risky to shift off the entire population from a safe and secured place to a complete bizarre site? It might be, but we as a team have worked our fingers to the bones and have pulled out particulars to provide a very secured and shielded environment to our dwellers. Zwa. Zwa is all this. Zwa is a Sanskrit word which holds a very significant meaning. The meaning behind Zwa is tomorrow. Our project gives hope for future generation that tomorrow is going to be different. Location and Orbit Zwa will be constructed at geostationary orbit due to its uni-oriented nature. The phases of construction need to be examined properly. Hence, the geostationary orbit is the proper locale. After the construction, we relocate Zwa from geostationary orbit to Lagrange point 1. L1 is a very stable point. It is suitable in all aspects. Its proximity to Earth gives a quick approach during emergency crisis. Phases of Construction Phase 1 – Construction of Central Hub Phase 2 – Construction of Spokes Phase 3 – Construction of Residential and Agricultural Tori Phase 4 – Construction of Non-Gravity and Tourist Tori Phase 5 – Construction of Industrial Tori Phase 6 – Construction of Satellite Placement Docking Board Everything's ready, isn't it? Mostly, but what about the radiation? Can we prevent them? Yes. With the help of Rakshan. The external layer Rakshan is a lead glass made spear with a smooth circular shape and high thickness. This spear has many more uses other than providing a proper radiation protection. This layer works like a balloon as it is filled with ozone, nitrogen and oxygen. It acts like an observation window of the settlement. That is, Rakshan has very minuscule digital eyes connected. The footages captured are transported to the control room for observation of external changes and aeronautical modules for research purposes in the form of radio wave impulses. What is docking? Docking is a connection or intermediator between our space settlement to the external utilities. The docking ports are having two segments, external. The external segment consists of a thin circular aluminium ring made up of 12 capture latches of large size. They are magnetized latches. Internal The internal segment consists of six electromechanical actuators for the free movement and correct placement of the foreign satellite. Life support We need an Earth-like environment for life to thrive. So, we need to implement life support systems on Zwa. Zeolites and VPSA are used to absorb gases from Martian atmosphere. Water will be extracted from Vasitas Borealis on Mars and Shackleton Crater on Moon. Food Production We need 2.55 acres of land to feed one person for a year. So, we'll be doing vertical farming with methods of aeroponics, phagoponics, hydroponics and aquaponics. We'll also practice apiculture for honey, wax and medicines. 
Animal husbandry will be done on small scale in agriculture terrace so that the ecosystem is balanced. Cow genes will be turned into microbes which can generate milk by itself using fermentation. Gravity is an essential part of human life. So how will we be creating artificial gravity in Zoa? We can't directly create gravity from the mass as Earth did it. We are not exactly creating gravitational force. Instead, we will create another force which replaces the gravitational force. Artificial gravity can be created by rotating the space settlement. We will rotate only the tori and the cylinders so that it creates a centrifugal force on the colonies, hence making the colonies stick to the inner surface of the torus. This rotation can be achieved by using ball bearings to rotate the torus. We can even change the force acting on the object by changing the speed with which the torus rotates. We will maintain 1g gravity in residential and tourist torus so that we can create earth-like ambience. As crops grow faster in lower gravity, we chose to keep the acceleration of agriculture torus as 0.65g. The gravitational acceleration of industrial torus is 0.5g so that it can decrease the workload on the engineers by making the material way light. With the zeal to know about space and increase our comforts in daily life, humans started exploring space by sending in numerous man-made equipment. This has led to betterment of life and has also given us a better view of space. As we know, everything has an end. Similarly, most of these tools started malfunctioning and at last expired. This resulted in formation of magnanimous amount of junk, which we call space debris. This space debris causes a lot of inconvenience by occupying the orbits in which new and properly functioning satellites can be placed. This junk also causes a lot of trouble for future man-made missions. The debris present in free orbits moves freely and may cause collisions. By this, we can understand how essential it is to clear space debris. Along with clearance of space debris, it is also important to look for ways to completely avoid this junk. It is only possible if we create reusable equipment which returns to the space settlement when its lifetime is coming to an end. We will also repair the satellites and equipment of other organizations sent from Earth and place them back in their respective positions, which ultimately prevents further formation of space debris. This is one of our strategies of business as it is done for a price. Now, how to clear the pre-existing space debris? The space debris removal equipment has 8 robotic arms. These robotic arms are used to capture the debris in our space settlements or equipment's way. We have evolved from the times where the only method to complete a task was manual work to the modern world of technology where everything is done in Lilliputian time. The main reason for this simplification of tasks is electricity. So generation of electricity plays a major role in our space colony. So what are the ways we have to generate electricity? Are we going to construct solar panels? How much electricity is produced? Oh God, we have a lot of questions. And as an answer for the second question, we are not going to construct solar panels. Instead, buy malfunctioning satellites from space and coat it with a layer of perovskites. This is done by electron beam weld bonding technique and these satellites convert solar energy into electrical energy and store in its body and this energy can even be sell to other settlements and gain profits. And for emergency purpose we produce electricity using a developed nuclear adiabatic demagnetation technique. And we can also use cycle generators and create a hub where people come and do the exercises which can generate a lot of electricity. Internal Transportation Gravitational Based In gravitational based transport, people travel through various vehicles like travelators, wanderers, rapiders, and electric cars. Magnetic Based In magnetic based transportation, we use magnetic levitating elevators. Robotics In Swahe, there are three types of robot assistants security bot, domestic bot, and health bot. Humans are so habituated to the games and sports, so Zwa has a recreational center providing of a gaming platform where citizens come and enjoy games like SpaceX, Non-Gravity, 3D games and VR games. And Non-Gravity Cylinder provides a space-like environment where people should be feeling like a flying experience and like going through a black hole, sun and many to feel the space. Physical games like football, cricket, badminton, etc. are built in recreational centers.
Finance For building a space settlement, it costs enormous amount of money. We can recover this debt by tourism, real estate and sending minerals and solar energy from satellites to other space settlements as well as Earth. By means of sponsors and venture capitalists, we can save money and show profits. Most of our budget can be regained by 20 years after the launch of this mission. Conclusion With this, we have approached the end of our small yet firm presentation. We thank all the people who have been a part of this project even in their busy schedules. We express our gratitude to NSS Space Society for creating such an educational memory for us. Signing off, Team Zwaag.